Newsflash, women age better than men, and there's one good reason why. Stay tuned. One of the best things men can do for their long-term health and happiness is get married. But for women, it's this. Stick close to your girlfriends, ladies, especially after 50. Turns out the number one strongest social predictor of long life is having a strong social network. And women have that in spades. Women thrive on friendships and see them as critical to our well-being, especially when going through tough times. And this clearly helps to keep us resilient as we get older, adding years to our life and life to our years. A powerful voice for women and first editor of Ms. Magazine, Suzanne Braun Levine knows how crucial girlfriends can be to our health and happiness and wrote about it in her fabulous ebook, You Gotta Have Girlfriends. So tell me something, are you convinced by the studies that show that women are healthier, live longer, are happier because of their relationship with their friends? I would be think? convinced if there were no studies because you know it and I know it, that's what we experience and every woman I've ever talked to who's been through anything says, I couldn't have done it without my girlfriend. There are wonderful studies that show, for example, when women are working together or being together, they release oxytocin, which is a very comforting, loving hormone. And a lot of scientists are beginning to think that's why we live longer than men, because our stress is reduced every time we sit down with our girlfriends. And the medical community is telling us that girlfriends are more important as we age than giving up smoking. You know, a question too, um, having girlfriends, we've established, really does help in their health and happiness, longevity. But it's having the right girlfriends. What if you have the wrong girlfriends, meaning the ones who really suck your energy and just make you feel bad about yourself? What do you do about that? You probably have one or two girlfriends that you've outgrown. And that's very touchy because it's no fault of theirs, but you just, you've moved ahead or you've moved in another direction. The real serious situation is when you have friends who are toxic. Mm -hmm. At this stage of life, a lot of us are trying to do new things, starting new projects, and we may have friends who can't do that for themselves and resent what we're and trying to do to be and, under, and try to undermine. Someone left a comment on Facebook wanting to know that, okay, so we're healthier, happier, we're living longer because we've got friends, so all of this goodness, how does that extend and how does that affect the men in their lives? Well, happiness is contagious, I think we all know that. And uh, certainly having good girlfriends who are moving up in your list of priorities can be threatening to men. But in fact, a lot of women report having better and better relationships with their partners who are men, either because they are simply happier, mm -hmm. or Feeling because better about they, themselves. yeah, or because they become more compatible. So, to the men, I would say this is all good. Okay, here's your plan for adding years to your life and life to your years. Women, we have a remarkable ability to connect, engage, share, and maintain solid networks and relationships throughout our lives. And men, live more like women, or at least stay closely connected with us. It could add years to your life. Girlfriends! Yes, Yay. girlfriends! <laughs> Until next time, remember this. We can control getting older, but we can control how we do it. I want to hear from you. Leave your questions about living your best life after 50 in the comments section below. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, and my blog on aarp.org.